Hello, hello. You see what kind of mess I have on my desk already? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't keep it clean. <laughs> Hi, somebody. I see two instead of just me. Hi, Brandy. Welcome. I don't know how tonight will go. Hi, Clay. Hi, Kat. How's everybody doing? I haven't talked to you in a while. Well, at least a week. <laughs> Okay, so three of my regulars here. Hi, Rosie. Thanks for joining us. Four of our regulars. Um, and five, Stamp Girl. Hi, Paige. Um, so a question for you guys. A lot of the Stampin' Up! demonstrators do a 10 or 15 minute talky, show their face thing in the front, and then they get into the cards do you prefer that or do you, are you okay with me just showing my old hands here <laughs> and getting right down to it and chit chat as we go? Oh, it's finally not free. It's not freezing here either. My daffodils are almost blooming. Um, not quite. And my tulips are pushing up through the ground. So I'm happy with that. Oh, Clay. That's kind of a non-answer. <laughs> Hands are fine. I think that's probably my preferred way of doing it. Me do me. Thank you, Yvonne. How are you? Hi, River City. Wow, I have a crowd already. And I already have a thumbs up. Thanks, guys. <laughs> so anyway, I guess I'll just um, dig right in because otherwise we'll be here a little while. And I'm kind of tired. I um, well, I will do a little chit-chat just with my hands, though. Um. So, just a little update on the situation with my mom, if any of you care. Um, she was in the hospital from last Tuesday when I took her to the orthopedic guy slash podiatrist. Broke her ankle in two places, her left ankle, which is actually also the ankle that has been oozing from her other issues. But, um, okay, thanks, Clay. Um, I took her into the hospital on, on that Sunday, they took x-rays, found she had a broken ankle and said bye-bye and sent her home to assisted living, which was a disaster. Luckily it only lasted for two more days because the doctor put her back in the hospital in order that she could transfer hopefully the next day, which would have been Wednesday to a rehab nurse skilled nursing facility so that didn't happen they ended up finding that well we were told that they did another x-ray of her other foot because it had her toes were all black and blue on her other foot and they told us that the x-ray showed that the top of her foot this was the podiatrist telling us this that the top of her other foot was broken also but they wouldn't cast it they just put her in a boot on that foot but no weight bearing at all either foot so and then um she passed out that's why she fell and this has happened three well two other times but the first time they decided she needed a pacemaker and she got one that was in 2016 in january but she shouldn't be passing out now from that purpose so they did um a bunch of tests one was a scan of her ultrasound of her carotid artery something showed up abnormal so i'm like oh great what does that mean so then they did a um a cat scan and it turns out she has a cyst on her thyroid however they did blood work and both those tests came out fine so there's no action there but she still gets lightheaded <laughs> so i don't know Anyway, Saturday late afternoon, they transferred to the rehab skilled nursing, and I was up there Saturday afternoon to see her get there. They transferred her on stretcher, and then um, today I had to go up for, a, a, they, they do what's called like an evaluation rehab meeting, and I also had to sign more admissions papers and stuff, so I did that, and um, I got home around dinner time, but anyway, it's just been... <laughs> 
it's just been kind of a nutsy nutsy so that's all about that that's the update it is what it is she'll be in well we believe oh and she has iv antibiotics because she does have a bacteria growing in that wound that's in the ankle that she broke <laughs> Anyway, plus she already had antibiotics going in, but she's got a pick line IV for this other one with infectious disease watching it. So not this Friday, but the following Friday we go back. I have to meet her at the wound center where infectious disease will also come visit. And they have to bring her in on stretcher so that they can roll her over and check stuff and whatever. So it's going to be tons of fun. But I don't know insurance is really weird if you don't show improvement they once the pick line goes out they cut off the insurance so it's just oh my gosh i'm honestly i'm so tired of dealing with all this and i know that sounds horrible but it's just been a long couple of years <laughs> and it's getting old but and i think mom thinks she's not going to be here much longer because she's having this is the worst she's ever been so anyway yeah i'm sorry for her mostly i'm just being selfish and self-pitying right now and i need to stop that so i'm gonna craft <laughs> thank you rosie um so we're gonna use this beautiful cheerful cheer me up paper called painted seasons you've seen this one in use before um so we're not going to use the front side of that. We might use the back. And then there's, well, then there's this one. Now, uh, somebody told me these are supposed to be succulents. I just thought they were flowers, but whatever. They're pretty. I love the colors, Pool Party and, um, and Lemon Lime Twist. And these are Calypso Coral, Poppy Parade, Call Me Clover. And then these are for autumn with the little acorns. And this is Poppy Parade and Mango Melody and some other colors. Lots of pretty colors in there. And then there's the Christmas one. We may or may not do the Christmassy one because I actually did some pine cones just not too long ago. But the flip side of that one, see, is Pool Party. And I actually don't have a card prepared for that, but we're going to start with that. <laughs> I have four other cards prepared that will do similarly anyway. So here's the Painted Season stamp set. It's gorgeous. And it is a distinctive. They don't have that on here, but they have it in the catalog that way or in the brochure. This is a celebration item. You can get the stamp set and that whole bundle of paper, three sheets of each. Hi, Debbie. Thanks for coming with a $100 purchase, or you can just get the paper while supplies last and only through March 31st uh, with a $50 purchase. So if you don't have a demonstrator, I definitely appreciate you purchasing with me. And then one of the few framelits dies that coordinate with the stamps is the Four Seasons Framelits that goes with this Painted Seasons, and it is still available. So if you want this at all, don't walk, run, because stuff is selling out or disappearing. For example, the Lily Framelits that go with the Lasting Lily oops, stamp set that's in celebration, they're gone. The Hello Cupcake frame or call me cupcake framelits that go with the hello cupcake stamp set they're gone the cute little froggy um framelits i think it's called hop around or something like that to go with the so hoppy the framelits all these framelits have disappeared they're gone already um the stamp sets, as far as i know those ones i just mentioned are still available as a celebration item each of these um, you can get with a $50 purchase, each each one separately. So if you're interested in any of those, you would make a purchase and then you could select them, one of them, for each $50. And a um, couple other things I'll announce just before we get started. If you were at all interested, I've shown this before too. The Dear Doily stamp set is still available. That's in the occasions 
The doily builder thinlets, though, are low inventory and they will not be carried over to the annual catalog. So if that's something you're interested in, grab them quickly because they are definitely in low inventory. And there was something else that is in low in. Oh, I know I don't have this one, but I'll. Um, there's something else that disappeared already. It's in the occasions catalog. Uh, if I can find it. It was with the floral romance here. These wonderful floral framelits dies on page 11 of the occasions catalog. They're gone, discontinued, not coming back. So I, the, so therefore the bundle is gone, but I think the stamp set's still available. And the paper is still available, which is really pretty too. That's the one that has um, two, the two colors of vellum. So anyway, that's my my starting spiel. Run, 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 run. And um, as far as I know, Kathleen's party is still going on for another week. And um, so if you are interested in purchasing, oh, let me see if I can find her host code. This is Kathleen Merkovich Robinson. And her host code is, okay, Kathleen's host code is 92ZEG3AX. I have the normal March code below every video um, and on my blog, but uh, if you could, for March, if you place an order with me, please use 92ZEG3AX. So Kathleen Merkovich Robinson will get some credit and help her party along because it's going a little slow. <laughs> it's going a little slow. Okay, so what we're going to start with is, because um, this idea just came to me as I, I hadn't done a Christmas card, and then I flipped it over and saw the back, and I'm like, that is pool party. So I grabbed a piece of pool party card stock, and we're going to use this side. Can you see the pattern in that? It's like a, what do you call that? Almost like a herringbone, but it has some faded areas and stuff. Who am I missing? Somebody? Anybody? Thank you, Rosie. I think they're beautiful papers too. Hi, Tina. Thanks for joining us. We're just getting started because I was doing a sales pitch for Kathleen Murkovich's party and um, some other things. So... I started doing this and I thought, oh, I need to stop. Um, and then this paper I've used before on a couple cards. So I'm not going to use that side. Maybe I might decide to use a little piece of it on this. Um, but this flip side we're going to use on the next card, which is Grapefruit Grove. Hi, Donna. Thanks for coming. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to do sort of another background by just stamping this beautiful stamp in Pool Party. We're going to make our own floral design, <laughs> which might not turn out as good as the paper, but, you know, that's how it goes. So I've got Pool Party and, oh, Lemon Lime Twist. And let me just say, too, that um, the In Colors... Do you all know about Stampin' Up's in colors? Yes, no, maybe. I might have said this before. I can't even remember. Do you know what an in color is? Okay, Brandy, sorry. Is my, and is the picture, is it blurry? Because I did a video. You don't think so? Okay. Let me pull out the catalog. That might be the best way, except my catalog is all written all over and stuff. But here it is. Let me move this out of the way and try not to end up wearing it. Okay, so in the catalog, the annual catalog, there's always, they, you know, Stampin' Up! does color families, and their families are neutrals, brights, subtles and regals and what they do is they oh donna don't even tell me mine's gonna be late because i was one person that had a billing error <laughs> hi maddie thank you for coming um but then so well, let me step back so these regal subtles brights and neutrals 
they have ink pads, their refills, their cardstock markers, their alcohol markers, etc., and their designer series paper based around those colors. Um, I'm usually one of the first page, but I'm going to be late this month. And they, they told me in an email, if I don't get it by the 27th to, <laughs> to let them know, I'm like, Oh no, but I didn't get it today. So then anyway, then they also have this thing called in color. And what it is, is they have five colors that are there. They have 10 colors that are each two year colors, but they have one that is for this year was from 2017 to 19. So these five colors, will be retiring unless they move them into one of the other categories. I have a feeling one or two might move into the other categories, but we don't know. Um, and then they have these five, which are 2018 to 20. So they'll still be available for another year as of June, because the catalog goes from June 3rd ish or 4th June. I think it's 4th this year. Um, to June 2nd or whatever for the following year. So basically the beginning of June to the end of May, that's their annual catalog period. So we don't have it yet for uh, this coming year, but I we know that these five colors will be retiring and they are powder pink, lemon lime twist, which is the one I'm about to use. And that is part of this that's this color here, this light green, really pretty color. Everybody's saying they're going to miss that one. Fresh Fig, which I think was in one of our recent paper pumpkins. Berry Burst, which I like a lot. And uh, you might see that in a card tomorrow. Tranquil Tide, which I also like a lot because it's sort of a teal green almost like a blue green really pretty and powder pink which unfortunately is one of my favorite pinks that they have but um as far as the pale pinks go so yeah they will be retiring unless like i said they take something else out of one of the other categories and replace it with one of these so let me just get these back on my shelf so i don't lose them so if you want any of those five colors or the refill if you already have the stamp pad you might want to get the refill they're only 375 a bottle uh there's ribbon that matches them that'll go away the card stock will go away and i love their card stock i love that everything coordinates with them yeah go and the refills are starting to be on low inventory already and they probably will not restock the one the five that will be going away so I'm just saying, <laughs> another run, don't walk. Okay, I have a couple of them, um, but I, I would have liked to have another one or two, but I just placed an order and I can't place another one. Anyway, back to our pool party and our lemon lime twist. So we're going to make our own background here, even though we have another background, but you'll see, we might, this idea is formulating as I go here. I am blurry. Oh, why am I blurry? Hang on. I'm going to blop you there for a minute. Maybe, I don't know if it's my lighting. Is that any better? Okay. Well, I took my finger and put it over the screen. <laughs> I don't know. Cause I did a video, like I said earlier today. And when I, I, I put it up, but then I watched it back and I was like, uh, that's all blurry too. Hmm. Okay, so I think, and I have a cat fur because Callie was helping me earlier. <sighs> Hope none of you are allergic to cats when I send thank yous or whatever. Because <laughs> I do have a kitty cat and she occasionally, I don't think she gets up on my desk when I'm not up here. But occasionally, and it seems like every time I clean my desk off to get ready for another project, she jumps up on my lap and then up on the desk. It's like, no, you stop. It's time for me now. You know, that kind of thing. So now I'm using Lemon Lime Twist. We're just going to go around with that. Uh, I don't know. I might need another blue. Yeah, I don't think I did that real well, but anyway, it doesn't matter. We might be cutting it anyway. 
I'll do another blue. I love pool party. You have doggy fur floating around that. Yeah, that's <laughs> just as bad or worse. <laughs> I love doggies too. Just can't have one right now. Maybe never. I'm getting too old. <laughs> I'm getting too. I think that's all I can fit on there. Okay. We might cover that spot with something. So, like I said, this is just sort of winging it as we're we're going here for this card. And then I have four other ones that are sort of prepped. Uh, so I'm putting back my lemon lime twist. That's such a, a springy color. They both are. I really like those. I like those colors together. So mine's not as pretty as theirs. Now let's see. What do we want to do with this? Should we... And like I said, this is a piece of the Christmassy paper or holiday paper. I think I was thinking of, well, it fits in here like this. And then if I flip it over like this, I can cut out a circle. And I have, what did I just do with it? Oh, I just opened this. This is the Shimmer Ribbon in Pool Party. So pretty. One of my favorite ribbons. Hardest time opening the inks. They get easier. It probably, it might be your hands because I had trouble too. Um, the old, the old ones I think are trickier. Let me show you an old one that I got at a yard sale. This is an old crumb cake. And I get confused because I, that one you had to push back, then flip up and then go and snap. And it also had this funny kind of shape and they didn't stack real well and they took up more room so they streamlined them now you just have to get this little indent and I, I kind of hold it like this and pull up and then slide and the sliding was a little hard on the first couple times but it gets gets a little easier yeah the old one is harder I think um, but you just have to I don't know. Here's the only other old one I have. You just have to push back, then flip up, and then slide till it clicks. I don't. I I never had these until uh, last summer. I got them at a yard sale. These two from a lady. I wish I could remember which house it was and where because I don't know any local demonstrators. So it would be nice to have a friend locally. Anyway, I was thinking we could put a little of this pool party ribbon on here like that. And then I thought I'd get a piece of pool party. I think I have an extra piece. Let me see if I have a different smaller piece. Probably not. No, no. Okay. Um, and doing a circle punch and then doing the starburst punch, which is just an eighth of an inch smaller than the two and a quarter inch circle punch, which I had to figure out. Um, and then putting that in the center with the white starburst with a sentiment. So let's just go ahead and do it. Let's just do it. Donna, try pushing near the top with both thumbs. Okay. Good tip. Thank you, Paige. So let me see if I can do what you mean. Pushing near the top up here like that. Now, when you order the inks now, there it went blurry for a second. Anyway, these are not the ones you get, just so you know. Um, and the, the, but the ink refills, it's the same ink, except they added a, um, I think they call it a defoamer or something like that. And the only one that might not be compatible is basic gray. So don't get the basic gray refill if you have the old style pad, but the other ones are supposed to be compatible, compatible. So there you have it. And Tempting Turquoise was one of the ones I got at the um, a yard sale. Because, you know, turquoise is my favorite color, right? 
So I had to get it. Well, in the clearance rack recently, they had in December, they had the refill. So I grabbed that refill. Now I can't use it to, for you guys, but so what are we, do we think this will be all right? Let me get a, um, a whisper white. Uh, okay. Okay, thanks. So here's the Whisper White Starburst Punch. The catalog does not state the size, but I actually measured it because I thought it was bigger than the circle, but it's just, see, it's just under the two and one quarter inch plain circle punch. So it's two and one inch. Ooh, ouch. I just broke my thumbnail. It wasn't very long to begin with. All right, so that's kind of what I'm going to do. Now I had to pick a sentiment. <laughs> That's the hard part. <sighs> We're going to use this next. Oh, by the way, the climbing roses and the rose trellis. Did I already tell you that? Low inventory. And when the rose trellis is gone, it's gone too. It's not coming back. You know what? I did that, Brandy, and I didn't see her. So she might... Um, You'll, you'll only find people if they signed something saying you could put them in that search thing. And she might not have because she might do all home parties and stuff. She said she was doing it 11 years. I sort of know the area it was, but it wasn't around where I live. It was like 40 minutes away. So I don't know. All right. So I'm just going to go for this. So let me get my, my good little, little scissors. Just cut some of this off. I used up a whole roll of glue dots. And I also finished a sheet and opened, I'm um, halfway done another sheet of dimensionals recently. <laughs> so I'm going to be using some little glue dots that are left over from a paper pumpkin from days gone by. And I want this to be sort of up, sort of up. Right about there. I do find the ones on the roll easier to use. Because I can just stick them. Yeah, the people that built their empires with Stampin' Up um, started, you know, there was no, it was probably back in the day before the web, but a lot of them are, are doing both now, so, and doing very well at it. That's a little loose, I think. I don't think I'm going to tie a bow. I think I just want a little bit of that shine, glimmer. So, we're going to have... Let me take this stuff out of the inside because it's confusing me. We're going to have this, then this, and then these with a sentiment that I didn't pick out yet. Ay! Let's see. Oh, floral frames is low inventory too. <laughs> the bundle, because of the foliage frame framelits, they're in the annual catalog. Um, how about sending love or mm -hmm. that's too big. Yeah. I think sending love, I'm going to send love. <laughs> it does, but you're going to see some Easter cards soon, not tonight. <laughs> but it is a pretty design for an Easter card. I could. I could put an Easter greeting on there. Why not? Um, hang on. Well, we have Easter greetings. I forget which other set I had that had another one. No, I'm going to save that until after tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm wishy-washy here. 
Okay, let me get another block. And let's stamp. Let's do a little stamping. And then we'll get to glue in and get this card finished. And I think I'm going to stamp in the lemon lime twist, actually, since I have a background of the blue. It's up a little high, but I'll put a little something something in the bottom there to, to offset it. Cleaning my stamp. Oh, I used wishing you the best instead of sending love. Oh, well, that's okay, too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down, and then I'll pop the whole blue circle up on dimensionals. And that's kind of going to be a theme uh in the next some of the next cards i'm sort of halfway prepared tonight because i i just made these other ones not this one this morning um but then i had to leave at noon and i haven't had time to do much since okay now i have to unbury my dimensionals here they are I love the dimensionals. <laughs> I really do. They just come off so easy and really cool. I have a tendency to overuse them, I think, but ah, that's all right. I shouldn't be putting this on here yet because I didn't even glue the card thing down. And I want it to be up a little bit to cover up that bare spot. So we'll do that. So let's get this card put together. <laughs> well, Donna, you should have shouted at me earlier. <laughs> That's what's hard about this live stuff. We can't really, I mean, we chat, but by the time I see it, it might be, oh, yeah, you were telling me that ages ago. And that's about as straight as death can get them. And I'm not going to pop this up. I'm just going to glue it down too. And I'm using the Tombow Mono Liquid Glue because, first of all, my art glitter glue is empty my little bottle. And I haven't had a chance to get the funnels out and refill it. And I want to refill like fill three little bottles or so that I as many as I can I have a lot of them hi Jamie thanks for coming okay well that's pretty 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 and then on the inside I have um we could do a couple different things we could just put white or we could cut a thinner strip of this and put it along there. Or better still, I think we'll just take one of these flowers and stamp it and stick it in there and then glue it down. As soon as I figure out what I do in my ink pad. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I put it away. That's what I did with it. Thank you, Paige. Pretty easy. I tried not to make, well, most of the cards tonight, I tried not to make too hard. And I think, actually, I might try and have just a little bit of um, lemon lime twist on here, too. Oops. Hey, if anybody didn't see Paige's cards that she just did a video on from her February paper pumpkin. You have got to go watch that. Not right now. Later. <laughs> that's right. Things don't have to be difficult. And that's what I that's why I wanted to do this card actually. Because sometimes I get a little carried away and then I forget that you know some people aren't used to making cards or are beginners and 
I think a lot of you have a lot of experience, but um, not everybody does. And um, so sometimes it's nice just to show something fairly simple. This probably would not have taken me this long to do, but I'm kind of, you know, trying to chat and chat and do at the same time, which doesn't always work with me. So that's all we're going to do on that one. Just a little bit of each color on there. Card number one, not planned, but there you have it. I think it's beautiful, but I love that color. Pool party. Hi, Nix. And yay, I saw your Instagram post. She finally got her Be Mine flip book. Only a month and a little bit after Valentine's Day. <laughs> uh, anyway. Okay, so the next card's a little different. And let me get bits out of here. And this is it. Um, to get this other stuff cleaned off. And how... Um, there's a lady, and um, she's a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Australia. Yes, they're sort of a um, hexagon clay. Um, anyway, her name is Kylie Bertici, and she has this new hashtag, love it, chop it to pieces, meant for your 12 by 12 paper stacks, okay? Well, oh shoot, sorry. That's now on silent. Oh, I always forget to do that. Um, so I thought that was a cool name that she came up with. Don't be afraid to cut your designer series paper. Well, and as we're getting, I'm not afraid to do it, but I will say that as we're getting down close to the end of the annual catalog and occasions ending on March 31st, I'm sorry, occasions goes through the end of may celebration ending march 31st i'm like i have so much paper i need to use i'll never get it all done so yeah it's pretty cool she's got a couple of them out so it's called hashtag love it chop it to pieces anyway so i took um the one piece that um looks like this and i chopped it and then I also, that blue piece, I, already, I had a scrap of it. And this piece was a scrap of it. And I thought, well, that really goes good with these. So this was part of the chop it of that one to get some card fronts and stuff. So I sort of pieced them, just three. Plus I was, I had Paige's video in my head where she had dies that made like window frames and stuff. So yeah, I kind of got inspired by that and by Kylie. But then I don't know how she did her cards with it, but I took it a little further and I did some stitched rectangle dies cut out on top. And then I stamped some flowers, but in Grapefruit Grove and Poppy Parade. And then see how the paper has some Call Me Clover little leaves. So I just die cut some little leaves. And put on some bling. So this one's a little bit more involved than the last one. But we're going to do it. And we're going to change it up just a little bit. Um, set that over here. Because I didn't have the same pieces left. So here's the pieces I have left. And I will tell you I had to lop off like about, I don't know, a quarter inch off this piece to get it to at least even out. And then these two, I lopped off about that much too to get them to work out. But I think that looks pretty cool. And I'm still going to do the stitched rectangles. But I want to get these glued down first. This um, card stock is called Early Espresso. It is in the annual catalog. And for some reason, it is not staying flat for me right now. So let's just give it a good crease. I don't have the Stampin' Up! bone folder yet, so forgive me for that. Very tiny piece. You could make... Yes, you could if you had patience. <laughs> um, I like the layered look, too. And see, this is the back of that pretty paper. It's that... It looks like orange um, 
fireworks or something. I guess maybe it's flowers, but it looks like fireworks to me. And now my glue is probably going to run out. Eh, don't do that to me. Seriously? There we go. I got it. Never fear. Okay. And now, you know, I am not the best at getting stuff straight. So if these are a little crooked, you know, yell at me. Okay? Got that? That's your job. Yell at me. Chest of drawers. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Come on, glue. I know I have another bottle of you, but I don't really want to break it out just yet. This was a fairly new bottle. Hmm. Just trying to get them sort of spaced evenly. Are you yelling at me yet? I think that's pretty good. Hi, Deborah Culbertson from Minnesota. We have, I think we have another Minnesotan here. <laughs> that's funny, Donna. Ugh. Maybe that's why I had such trouble with that paper doll. Oh, my gosh. I got it done, though. I got it done. I got both of them done, which really sort of amazed me. Okay, that one I know is not straight, but it's going to have to do. California. Hi, Yvonne. Where's Debbie? Okay, thanks, Debbie. You have a good night as well. You go for it, Clay. Um, there are videos if you want to do it by the pattern. Um, but it's hard to find the pattern on that website. And I already cut mine all up. But anyway, it's a free pattern, but it's kind of tricky. But you like 3D, so you can probably do it. I was a little bit shy of swearing at the first one. <laughs> you cried. Oh, my gosh. I almost did. <laughs> wonky that's okay that makes it yours right that's that's how i say it i have one card in here you'll probably see i don't know if i'll be able to point it out i was doing so good and then i put the paper down <laughs> i was like are you kidding me but it's done so there we go that's not too bad right this one's not quite over enough but yeah well it's not too bad for me okay now, let's stamp our sentiment, and I do want to use the I Thought of You Today, which came out of the Climbing Roses, which is low inventory. So, if you like this one from the Occasions catalog, grab it now. I like these backgrounds and these roses and this little rose. I don't know that I used this big one yet. And then there's a die that has a trellis. Uh, and they're a big rose cut out and it's low inventory and it I have inside information it's not going to carry over so there you go yeah he made an awesome box he did share it with me I mean showed it to me okay so I'm going to stamp that well I just put it away without getting stamped out oh my gosh deb 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 Oh, what did I just say? I thought of you today. I like that sentiment. Now, these are the cling stamps. And I have to figure out which stamp set I got this other thing out of at some point. So, we're going to use Early Espresso, which, by the way, my stomach's a little upset because I was bad and ate McDonald's on the way home. How awful. Okay, Brandy. Um, and I bought one of their shamrock shakes, which I haven't had in years. Hi, Rebecca. Thanks for coming. And now I'm drinking coffee with creamer in it. It's like, oh my gosh, at night. And it is not decaf, guys. So it's possible I'll have another late night or very early morning. <laughs> 
Okay, now when I stamp this, I want to sort of make it up and over a little bit. Um, and I will do my best to get all these cards on my blog tomorrow with the measurements. And that's going to be straight enough. <laughs> it's a little wonky, but it's okay. I like that word, wonky. A little wonky. And the reason I wanted it up and high like that is because we're going to stamp these flowers out and sort of put them over the bottom a little, maybe a little more than I did the last time. But first, these were cut out. This is Whisper White. This is Grapefruit Grove. These were both cut out with the rectangle stitch dies that are in the Occasions catalog. I don't know whether these are carrying over or not. I don't have any information on that yet. And I use numbers one, two, three, four, five, and six coming in from the outside over here. So this is how they come laid out when you get them. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I actually finally numbered mine and got them on a magnet because even if they don't carry over, I'll be using those <laughs> going forward because I like them. I like them that like that. So we're going to glue down the white and then we're going to pop the orange one with the white on it up on dimensionals. And then we have some stamping to do and that part I didn't get pre-stamped or pre-cut. So you're going to have to bear with me. Oh, come on. There we go. What is with this glue tonight? It was working fine for me earlier. Okay. Let's see if we can at least get this sort of centered. Okay, there we go. Ta-da! <laughs> it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Hmm. And hopefully everywhere else. Okay, I didn't miss anybody, did I? I don't think so. I don't think so. So I'm not, I don't know. I think I'm going to off center it like that, like I did the first time. So we'll just get lots of fingers full of, of dimensionals. Well, four of them anyway. There's another Stampin' Up! demonstrator. The, like six months ago or so, I was watching a video of hers. Her name is Brandy, and she's way up there in the ranks too. And she did that. She had them like on all her fingers and stuff. I'm like, Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you, Donna. I do, too. I don't know which one I like better. Just the three. I actually maybe think I like this one better. Hmm. But it goes to show if you love it and chop it to pieces, as Kylie says, you can make all sorts of designs. And um, I have not just 12 by 12, though. I have... In the annual catalog, every color family has its own designer series 6x6 six six paper. I'll show you what I mean in a minute. Um, and I have, I believe, all of them. So, and I have a lot left. Not to mention I have some other paper left from the annual catalog, plus now the occasions, plus the celebration. <laughs> Good job, Clay. You're distracting from my live, though. Shame, shame, shame. <laughs> anyway, it's an awesome box he did. It really is. Hi, Lorraine. Thank you for coming. I did not send a swap in. I have not had a chance to do a swap. So if she is waiting for me, please apologize to her. for me. I'll send her an email. If I, I don't know if it'll be tonight or tomorrow. But no, I have not. Okay, so I need to get the other flower because we don't want this one. That's a succulent. We want the flower. Okay, and we're going to stamp it as soon as I find a piece of Whisper White cardstock. Um, hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
you know what we're going to do? We're going to use the piece that was supposed to be for the inside because I can do the inside another time. Okay, and we're going to stamp in Grapefruit Grove and Poppy Parade. Lorraine, if you rewatch the replay of the beginning of this when it's done, you'll see why I just haven't had a chance to do any jewelry at all lately. And barely able to keep up with the card business. <laughs> so let's see. Last time I did two red and uh, an orange. And this time we're going to do two orange and a red. And the red being Poppy Parade. I don't know. Maybe I'll stamp two red out and we'll see. And here's a tip also. When you're doing this, if you're planning on using the die to cut them each out, put enough space in between them and don't get them too close to the edge or you won't be able to get your die to fit on there right to cut them out. And these are distinctive. Don't you love it? Can you see all the detail in them with one stamping? Love, love, love. <laughs> For April? Okay. I'll, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'll be able to do April. <laughs> I would love to, but I have taxes I haven't gotten done yet, which right now are back on my calendar for the last weekend in March. This coming weekend, I can't do much of anything because I'm babysitting, which I delayed doing one other time my daughter had to cancel because of my mother i had to do something with so i'm not delaying that anymore and um they're getting to go on their overnight wherever they're going i don't even know but um so all day sunday i'm babysitting wish me luck <laughs> wow Oh, you, what, you like that how it does it these are called distinctive d-i-s-t-i-n-k T-I-V-E, they're um, only Stampin' Up has them, and they make it look 3D with only one stamp. Isn't that gorgeous? I love distinctive stamps. There's a couple of them that have been out, and the pine cone, I don't know if you saw my video on um, the cards I did for the 15th with Paige, but let me show you the pine cone because we don't have that in tonight's. There's the pine cone in crumb cake. Isn't that cool? Um, my granddaughters are 13, 13, 14. Should be 14, I think, in, and six. So, yes, a little bit, but they're at different stages. So it's really hard to sit down and craft with both of them at the same time, other than maybe coloring or something. So anyway... I do have to cut these out, and I think I showed this before, actually, but there's a sort of a flat part on the petal, and there's a flat part on the die, um, and that's how you know how to line them up. So it's pretty easy, and I'm just going to pop them in my machine and get them out. Um, okay, well, these dies are only available till March 31st. Um, that you can buy them separately. The stamps you can only get in a bundle with a $100 purchase. You get the stamps and this beautiful paper I've been using, uh, the 12 by 12 paper set. It's a bundle for with a free with a $100 purchase. Um, but I'd, I'd love to have you do that for me. And then, it, but you can use this towards your purchase because this you have to buy the dies that go with it. So that helps you, helps you get there. I'll be right with you guys. So talk amongst yourself. Tell Clay how wonderful his box is and stuff. <laughs> okay. Trying to line it up and not move it and crank, crank, crank. And ta-da! <laughs> There's one. All 
I usually put um, sticky notes down to make sure they stay in place, but I'm trying to just do it quick. There's two, I hope. Two. And we'll just do one more for now. Which one do I like better? I don't know. They're both about the same. Except that they're red. Poppy Parade, actually. So, the new annual catalog will be coming out in, um, that one I cut a little wonky, actually. Let me cut the other one. Uh, will be coming out for customers in early June. But if you have placed an order with me in the last um, year, being generous here, a lot of a lot of demonstrators do it last six months. Um, I will put you on a mailing list to automatically get an annual catalog. And that is not free to me, but I will do that because it's sort of an appreciation thing for placing an order in the last year with me. Um, because the, the last year has been my first year <laughs> at this. So um, if you could, it would be great if you would like a catalog to place an order between now well, March 31st is when celebration ends. Occasion goes through the end of May. Um, yes, I do, Donna. I am getting credit. I get it. Yes, it helps my... Um, basically, the people I have on Paper Pumpkin right now help cover my web link cost because that's a cost too. So the profits I make from the Paper Pumpkin... Um, pretty much all go to pay my web costs. So that it's wonderful. I love it. It helps. And that helps me stay ahead. <laughs> so any other orders then help me get ahead a little bit or pay for goodies to bring you, you know, that kind of thing. Um, okay. So then what I did is I just cut out two of these funky looking. I don't know what these are supposed to be, but I used them as leaves. So, and I did them in, um, Call me Clover. I'm just searching to see if I have another small piece. And I sort of do. Not. <laughs> Maybe we'll use. Hmm. I don't know what we're going to use. I guess we'll have to use one of these. All right. I don't have a small piece. So I'm going to have to use a card base. Yeah, I thought they were leaves too. But they look sort of like. Point the finger at you, not the middle finger. <laughs> anyway, just a little funny looking leaves. You'll see what I mean. You'll see what I mean. And they cut out really easy. All of these are framelits, so they cut out really easy. Okay, so here we go. And let me put these away so I don't lose them. You get two of those. And you get two of the ferny ones, which we're going to use in one of the next cards. I know I'm taking way too long tonight. Okay, so I like to mix this up a little bit. Mm, alternate. Maybe want more of the red to show like that, I think. Something like that. Not quite. Mm. Mm. <laughs> maybe a little more red in there so we can see that center okay so here's the tricky part first of all I need a glue dot to get one of these on the bottom here so I'm going to do that and then I have to put a dimensional on part of it and glue part of it onto here Not hard, just a little tricky. And there 
Okay, good enough. Now let me get a dimensional or two. Sorry for my reach. And by the way, if you see the same shirt on in my video tomorrow that's going up, that's because I filmed it today. <laughs> I'm in the same clothes. So I think I did that sort of backwards. Mm, yep. And these stick really good and they can tear your paper. So be careful. Well, we're just going to have to go with it like that. Because I have the dimensionals down here. So I need to put the glue up here. Okay, Donna. You know, I know things are hard. And I don't want anybody to go in debt or get in trouble to order with me. You know, but I do appreciate any orders. And I do try and get some things out. I was saying earlier, though, I'm not as good about getting the thank yous out on the paper pumpkin customers. And I need to get better at that. Okay, come on. What's going on here, glue? I've had you upside down. Be nice to me. There we go. See? Talk nice and it comes out. <laughs> Okay, let me get this glue off my hands and take the dimensional thingies off. I mentioned I love these dimensionals. <laughs> you know, it's actually best if you can save up and do big orders because then you get stampin' rewards, which gives you free merchandise. And right now, through March 31st, you not only would get your free merchandise, but you get, it for orders over 150, you get 10%. But um, now you can get more the bigger your order is. I think it's 250 though you have to have. But you also get a celebration item for each $50 you spend or each 100 depending on what you pick. Yeah, exactly. So it, it pays to save up if you can and place one big order. Um occasionally now i have to do the same thing with these but i've got to get these back where i think i wanted them i think i want the red down a little bit but peeking out a little more or up a little bit and then the orange down i think i like the red up a little bit or maybe i like it like that i think i like it like that i like it like that So I have to do this other leaf. And I'm putting the glue dot on the front of the little leaf. Because I want the front side to stick out of this orange one up here. And that also helps me remember which part I want sticking up that way. So I'm going to do this orange one next. And put dimensionals over on, put my finger like that so it's over here is where the dimensionals go. I showed you how I have my ribbon, right? It's in a double refrigerator bit while the Stampin' Up! ribbon. <laughs> the other ribbon I don't even want to talk about right now. Kateri, here on YouTube. Uh, I can't remember her whole channel name, but it's K-A-T-E-R-I. She has a Facebook group, and I'm in it. And she challenged us, which is why I did my craft room mess tour the before video so sometime in april which is another reason i can't be in any swaps right now anymore um i have got to get going on this room but i have to get my taxes done first have to have to didn't get that exactly how i wanted it but it's pretty close and then this i think i'm going to go like that and that one i'm just going to glue because it's already popped up like that. I hope you meant like that. <laughs> like that? Yeah. Well, too late now anyway. So it's done. Oh, I'm gonna I'm about ready to get my new new bottle out. Mm, but I can feel the glue in there. There, see, there it comes. Da -da -da. And now it's gonna be like goozing. 
when it gets down to the bottom of the bottle, it does sort of oozy woozy. Let's see. Do, do, do. Like that. A little bit like that. Like that. Okay. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there. I think I should have had that green down here a little further, but oh well. It's good enough for for now. And then the last thing I did um, is I put some sequins on. And those are low inventory too. Surprise, surprise. These are the Gingham Gala um, sequins. They're the ones that have the little flowers and also regular um, regular rounds. But these are adhesive backed. I really think these are adorable. I hope they sort of bring something like this into the annual. And I only use the regular because I think we have enough flowers going on in um, in here. So we just put one here. And these are supposed to be grapefruit grow, but they're sort of a um, iridescent grapefruit grow. I, I know I want one like here. And I think I'll put one down here this time. Yeah, down there. <laughs> so those are low inventory and the gingham gala paper the um that is on back order but it is coming in it says by the 25th not my decision clay uh, they have you know their annual catalogs are done like a year and a half in advance so it's already done. If they bring it back, it would have to be like a special promotion or like the holiday catalog that things that carried over. They're just website only, that kind of thing. All right. Well, since I used my white paper that was going to go on the inside for the stamping, I'm not going to do the inside right now because it's getting late anyway. But this is what I did on the inside, and I'll probably do the same thing. Good night, Rosie. Thank you, Rosie. I have three more. <laughs> I appreciate you coming by. She was very sweet and watched all my um, hop videos too. So anyway, that's that card. So that's card number two. And I don't know what I did with card number one. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Oh, these are the strips that go on the inside of here. So let me put them in that one. Okay. Next one is... Um, this one. Oops. We're going to change it up just a tad. So this one is this same paper we just used on the other card. But when you flip it over, you have Call Me Clover. Thank you. Thank you, Paige. Oh, here's the other one right in front of my nose. And now I don't know what I just did with that one. Here it is. So those are our two so far. I'm not doing any fancy folds tonight, though. So sorry about that. So what I'm going to do is just take one of these and cut it in half. And then put the back on the top or bottom and the other side on the bottom. And then I used a piece of this... Um, Flax ribbon, which is also low inventory, but I love this. It's it's um, it's like a it's like their burlap ribbon, except that it's I have glitter on my hand, <laughs> except that it's soft. It's softer. Um, that's really funny. I, it's like the glue from one of those sequins stuck on my fingers. <laughs> anyway. Have a little bit of this left, so I'm trying to use it before it's gone, gone. So let me cut this in half. And these, I think, are... I will tell you. These are five and a quarter by four. So we're going to cut it in half this way. So it needs to be... Well, it doesn't have to be exact, right? We're going to make it 2.75, and the other one will be slightly different. But they'll still fit. And 
and we're just actually going to put that on oh, a call me clover card base which i have another one of right here and i even scored it already and it's just your eight and a half by five and a quarter and then when you fold it in half it's four and a quarter I think that's right. Like I said, all the dimensions will be. Is Donna leaving too? Oh no, Rosie left. Okay, okay. I'm so glad you guys are here with me tonight. I really am. Makes my day. So that's what we're going to do. Let me figure out how I want the flowers. I really kind of like these geometric designs, too. I like that kind of stuff, usually. Depends, but I usually do. And I'm not leaving space in between, because I'm going to put the ribbon over. So now I just have to hope my glue works and lets me put them down straight. <laughs> okay, cool. Now, I get a little heartburn sometimes. You know, I don't have trouble cutting the paper, then... But when I see a pretty side and I'm putting glue on the really pretty side, that gives me a little heartburn. Aw, thanks, Clay. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. More than you probably know. Okay, come on, glue. This is getting a little frustrating. All right, hang on. I have a new one. Break out the new one. I have to figure out how to open it though. Okay. Should have done this before the video, but I thought it would last. Apparently I was mistaken. All right. Let me put this one on upside down over here. All right, let's see if we can get the new one to go. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. All right. And we're going to try and get it straight-ish. So I have to make sure I leave enough room at the bottom for the other piece. Oh, I might have actually done it. Whew. <laughs> Your ribbon dealer. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> now, did I show you my ribbon thing? Hang on. I know I did, but it's kind of a mess right now, too, because I have some stuff pulled out. This is my Stampin' Up ribbon. It's in one of those refrigerator, double refrigerator bins. Can you see it has handles on both sides? Yeah. That's only Stampin' Up. I've only been doing this for a year, guys. Not even a year. So next year, I think I'm going to go a little lighter on the ribbon. And also on the designer series paper, I'm probably going to be more selective. Like just get one, one or two at a time. Try and use them up before I get more. It's really hard when they keep coming out with new stuff. Though. <laughs> it froze. Oh, no, I'm frozen. I don't want to be frozen. I got a little glue on there. I need to zap off here with my eraser. This is not a Stampin' Up! product. I got it on Amazon, and it is called an adhesive remover. It works okay. You just have to be careful. You don't want to rub too much, too hard, because the paper can tear if you do it too much okay there we go there we go now um we're gonna put the ribbon down just like we did and i sort of pre-cut it and sorry that's my chair squeaking not me if you heard that everything in this house is getting old like me It's because everything color coordinates. Why is that bouncing? 
Uh. <laughs> okay. Um, that is one of the things I love about Stampin' Up! is that everything coordinates. And I like the quality of their ink and their paper a lot too. Their cardstock. So, I mean, they're... I'm not bashing anybody else's because I know there's other good ones out there too. But I haven't found any that that it's so easy to coordinate everything. I mean, and I have a pretty good eye for color, but I'm putting colors together that I never would have thought of putting together before, I have to say. Like, I probably would not have just gone to the store and picked this and this out together. But, you know, it works, right? So <laughs> it's pretty. And um, yeah, so I'm learning more about color than I knew before. And that ribbon's not really cut straight, but yeah. Now, I don't have enough leftover green to do what I did here. So, and I don't want to break out a whole new sheet. I do have enough white. And this punch that I used here is the story label punch. It's a celebration coordination item. So it's available till March 31st. Um, and I stamped that in early espresso. So I'm going to do the same thing as soon as I find out where that thank you came from. <laughs> okay. That, I think, came from... Nope, not that one. Hmm. Okay. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it's the last one I'm looking for. It came from the Climbing Roses set. This one here with the swirly tea. So that's what we're going to dig out. And we'll probably put away one of the other ones that's out, which was I thought of you today. And these are cling stamps, and they do cling. I'm going to move the flower. When you pick up these cling stamps, you have to be a little careful and just pull from one end. I don't know if we're going to use the green behind the, I don't know, maybe I'll pick a different color that I have some of. Um, or maybe, what if we do a circle? No, that won't look right. Okay, never mind. All right, well, let's stamp this and then we'll figure it out. Uh, early espresso. I lost my stamp pad. <laughs> oh my word. I have to be tired. I'm looking on my desk for my stamp pad. <laughs> it's not in my shelf. So it has to be here. Somewhere. Or on the floor. Or so. Oh, here it is. Found it. It's under the grapefruit grove. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Now this is just a scrap. I used my scraps. My uh, Whisper White, I save, unless they're really thin, I save them and I use them for stuff like this. And I have to put it as close to the middle as I can get it. Otherwise, the punch won't have enough room for punching. Ask me how I know that. <laughs> You're not the only one. Even even uh, some really high up uplines do the same thing. So I don't feel too bad about it. Especially at this time of night for me. Because I'm, um, I'm usually falling asleep about now. <laughs> Okay, so I already tested and I made sure this story label punch, which is really nice. I like the way it looks. And that thank you fits beautifully in it. I'm just trying to make sure it's straight in there. 
Because, you know, oops, well, maybe it was. Oh, come on, Deb. Hopefully Friday morning, um, oh, just an advertisement. Friday morning, Eastern Time, 9 to 11, or Pacific Time, uh, what would that be? 6 to 8. I'm doing, uh, I'll be part of a hop, and it will be with Danina at the art bar, and all day long, People are going to have two-hour stints, and they're going to make whatever they want. And we're going to have fun. So come join us. And um, I don't know exactly what I'm going to make, but I do think some of it will be cards. Some of it might be a pocket letter. Some of it might be boho beads. I don't know. So here's what I'm thinking. I don't want to cover all the ribbon up, but maybe I want to put a little piece of this just enough to stick out on each edge of here to make that pop a little bit and pop them both up so I think I'm gonna cut this on the trimmer so I can cut it sort of straight I think I got that too long yep that might might be okay and this is just a, a leftover piece also. Should I do that or should I put it up here? That's a thought. Hi, Jan. Happy Tuesday. I saw the Happy Tuesday, but I didn't even see it was you. Oh, my gosh. I am getting tired, I think. All right, do we like it like this, or do we like it down here on here, or without the green? Let me know. Okay, that's fine. Dinner, oh my gosh. Well, you're an hour behind. It's only seven something there, eight here. Yeah, I think higher up here with the green too, right? But then does this look too bare? Hmm. I'm going for it. <laughs> Thank you, Rebecca. All right. We're going to put it with the green on the green. I maybe should have rounded the edges of it, but I don't have the energy right now to do that. So we're not going to. Oh, I just smeared the ink, guys. I have to do it over. Take it off. I just stuck my finger in there and smeared the ink. And while there's always two sides, not if you already have glue on it. So, I had to find another scrap of white. Oh, I have one. <laughs> my last one, so I can't mess this one up. See, yeah, I can put some sequins around in the middle or something else, maybe. At the end, I'll give you a sneak peek of some other cards I did that are not going to be in my video tomorrow morning. In fact, I don't know when I'm going to show them, but um, anyway, maybe I'll just show them tonight and put them up on my blog tomorrow, too. I'll be all day doing my blog tomorrow, I think. And I find it boring, tedious. But I want you guys to have the measurements and stuff. And it takes up too much space to do it down at the bottom of the YouTube videos all the time. Okay, I'm going to try and salvage that piece of green. Just don't want to get my gluey finger in the early espresso. Nope. Well, you know what we're going to do? Hmm. I don't want to lay that down. We're going to use a different piece. Because <laughs> I don't want to... Um, 
stick that down on the on the table. All right. And I want that to be centered. You guys probably make mistakes like that too, right? Lynn Wright Glizzer bug? bug? I can't read that. Boo? Hello. <laughs> I need about a half inch on that side from there to there. There we go. This piece is going in the trash because I messed it up. And now I think I will pop that up. I'm not need that quite that many. Hmm. Is this your first time here, Lynn Wright? I believe it might be. Hey, does anybody want to be a moderator? You know, get the wrench. <laughs> I have a couple people that are, but none of them are here tonight. Okay, Donna, let me figure out how to do it again. I think I just click on you. I get my mouse. <laughs> Add moderator. You are now a moderator. Have fun. We'll just pick Donna for tonight. <laughs> Thank you, though. Okay, so now Donna said sequins. Hmm. So we have Call Me Clover. Um, we have these non-adhesive ones, or we have these that are supposed to be Grapefruit Grove, um, these that are supposed to be Balmy Blue, but they're sort of iridescent. I kind of like those better. <laughs> okay, thanks. Now these are all different colors and they're iridescent. Oh, they have some pretty, maybe we'll use those. I'll just have to put glue dot, dots down, which I might have to try and get a couple drops out of my little bottle. All right, let me get my, my pick tool thing. And mine is also coming out a lot right now Donna just so you know you had that problem okay so where shall we put them on the ribbon up here so I think if I put them down here they're not going to show unless I use a different color I don't know if I'm going to like this I'm kind of thinking maybe I should just go with clear bling Instead of colored sequins, because we have a lot of color going on here. Hmm. Ribbon? You mean like a bow? I already have a piece of ribbon there. Let me get out some clear. Or how about pearls? Hang on. How about like a pearl here? I like that, I think. <laughs> I'm going for a different size pearls. Put one on flower. 
I'm gonna put one there. The green just looks too much to me. But I like going in threes, so we need at least another one. Clear bling. Uh oh. Whoops. There. Now, now that you said clear bling, let me see if I would have liked that better. Maybe. I don't know. We're out too late. It's the pearls. It's the pearls. Okay, we're almost done this one. The inside, um, I actually just used the whole reverse of this, so it made it easy, and then put white on top. But I had to cut the white down a little bit. So give me one moment to cut about a quarter inch off each end. I know this is moving too slow, so that'll work, right? Yep, okay. I am in southeastern Pennsylvania, Lynn. <laughs> so it's about um, 8.30 almost here. Wow, I still have two more cards. We're not going to get to all the cards tonight. We'll do one more after this, I think. And Unfortunately, I was trying to do all the seasons in the painted seasons, but I guess I'm not going to get it done. But I did one extra that in the beginning that wasn't planned so that counts for something we have people here from texas and minnesota and pennsylvania and um it's one of the carolinas i forget which one it is <laughs> and i don't know where else actually couple people from Texas tonight. Brandy and Jan, both from Texas. Okay, there is our card. Card A and card B that we just made. I like them both. They're different. It just goes to show with the same papers, all the different options you can do. And there's tons more. South Carolina. Thank you, Don. I I get that confused. Okay, so that's card number three. And now the next one, if I unbury it. All right, we're going to have a choice because we're not going to be able to do both. Let me put this away first. And this. Okay, we either can do this one or this one. These are the same papers. Just opposite sides. Um, this one is pretty easy. This one takes a little more effort. Look at that cute paper for fall. It's got little acorns in there and mushrooms and these wheat things. And then the other side is that poppy parade. So cute. I mean, as cards go, I like this one better. But it depends on if you want to hang with me to do it. I put everybody to sleep again. <laughs> I can do it. It's just a matter of whether anybody else will. You're hanging? Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to go with this one. I already at least have most of the stuff cut. Um, now, there's one item on here that is no longer available, but I used it. It's these little embellishments. These were from the holiday catalog. And I just had three little bows and some red and green dots. And we're using a bow and some of these little red dots. These are Poppy Parade. Those are the only Poppy Parade embellishments I had. So we're going to use some of those. But everything else is available through the Stampin' Up! catalog. Now this card I cut 11 
by four and a quarter and fold it this way. So we're folding it open this way. And the front is um, the interesting part. So what I did is I just laid this paper down. No, that's not just what I did. <laughs> um, what I did is I actually took the starburst punch and punched a hole out here. And then I took that paper and cut a starburst in Poppy Parade as well, which I don't have done yet. And I glued them together and then I bumped them up on dimensionals in the same spot, but that gave me room to tuck in these pieces, which I stamped from the painted season set, which we have to do. I did this one on the Mango Melody paper and this one just in Mango Melody on Whisper White. And then I used the Pretty Label Punch and just stamped Hello in Poppy Parade, which is what the backing is. So that's what we're going to do. But I have to find a piece of um, the red. And here it is, I think. Nope, different color. Hmm. Here it is. I knew I had one here somewhere. So let's do that first. The other card is super quick, quick. So, and it, I'll just tell you what I did because it's easy. Okay. And then this sort of just want it about in the center, but more up towards the top. Mm, right about there, I guess. Okay. And we'll just glue those together a while. And we'll glue this. When I first did this, I was getting glue dots on these pieces I stamped and die cut and putting them down. And I forgot to put the back down first. <laughs> yes, it's like a field. It's pretty. I love this might be my favorite piece. I don't know. They're all so pretty. I like the, the light blue and green too, but I really like this piece of paper for fall stuff. So. Anyway, it has magic mushrooms. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I just had to do it. Being a, I never had one of those, by the way, but being a child of the 70s, 60s and 70s, you heard about them all the time. So. Okay. That's done. We're going to glue these together and it doesn't really matter as long as they match. Um, and this was just something I don't know that I've seen this done, but I just thought it was kind of cool. An idea. And see, it has in the paper, it has these little, I don't know, I call them wheat fronds or something. I don't know what they are. Yellow leaves. Um, and that's what's in the stamp set. So... Let me get those and we'll stamp them. And we'll also have to find the hello. Um, do I already have that out? No. Okay. The hello we're going to use is out of the floral frames, which is in the annual catalog. So let me get that out as well. And find a block to put it on. And I'm going to see, I'm going to do that first because I want to see if I can actually get it in my pretty story, what is this called? Story label punch. When do the new teapot and cup die set get released? The, the dies, um, hang on. I'm trying to find it for you. The tea. Um, oh gosh, where is it? Hang on. Well, anyway, the tea dies. I'm, I'm sorry. The tea stamps are available now. 
in the occasions catalog. Might be easier if I just find it for you in the catalog, huh? The dies are a celebration item with a $100 item. And I was trying to, I know I have them here. Just don't know what I do with them. Hang on. Okay. Is this the one you mean, tea together? This you can purchase now in the um, occasions catalog on page 49. The matching framelits are currently a um, celebration only item with a $100 purchase. So the tea time framelits that go with them that have the teapot and cup and some other things, um, those are only available through um, you know, free with a purchase, but you have to have a hundred dollar purchase. So the tea together you can buy the framelits are a celebration item. And those are still last I checked this morning, those were still available. And whether they carry over or not, I'm not sure. So, you know, I don't know that I don't have a retiring list yet. I was only given a sneak peek at a very short list of things that might or will be carrying over. And some of them were in the annual catalog, not these, these items. So this you can buy. And I don't remember how much that is. Let me see what page did I say it was on 49. And there's my other moderator. Hi, Lisa. Okay. The tea together stamp set is $22. It's on page 49. So in order to get the dies, you'd have to spend another $88 to get $100 to get the dies. Okay. So you could get paper and inks and things like that to go with. <laughs> All right. Let me stamp my hello. Hello. Timely, Lisa. I can say hello. And I'm stamping it in Poppy Parade, and I'm going to flip it over and do it again because I got um, sometimes these stamps at the top. If you get if you push too hard, you get a little ridge on them. And I got a little. I should have used my chamois to clean that, but I pushed too hard apparently. Uh oh, I can't flip it over. See, I reuse paper. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, guess what we're going to do? I'm going to stamp it on white and punch it again. Hopefully. That stamped much better. Now let's see if it'll punch before I close my ink up. Mm, it's over a little bit, but I'll just have to put a little piece of bling over there or something, which I think is what I did the last time. Okay. Ouch. Do not pinch thumb in punch. Well, you can wait until the annual comes out and see if it's in there to purchase, Lisa. I don't I know what to tell you about that. Um, but that's the only way to get the framelits right now. The dies are only, I mean, the stamps are only um, $22. Um, so... I don't make those rules. Okay, now this I just glued onto here because I'm going to bump this whole thing up. So let me do that and then we'll do the little leaf thingies. The leaf thingies. Yeah, I have nothing to say about the prices or how they promote stuff. I'm just here to bring it to y'all. And show you. And I think I used a different punch this time. I used the story label punch instead of the pretty label punch. Well, this is kind of important. Important. I have to see how this fits in here so I get it in the right position. And then we'll come back to that. We'll let that dry a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and put the inside in because I don't want this piece laying here for me to mess up. And all I did on the inside was go like that and that. So let me get that done and out of the way and then we'll do our yellow things. 
The annual catalog comes out. Um, well, for us demonstrators, we can pre-order in May. I don't have a copy of it yet. Um, Mid-April-ish or between mid-April and the end of April, we're supposed to get a, a um, online copy and also the list of what will be retiring in the current annual catalog and the occasions catalog. Um, so I'll have more information in April, but um, mid-April or so, but I don't know at this time because they're having on stage events locally and a big one over in um, New Zealand or somewhere, but I'm not going to that. And those folks are going to get a preview of things in the annual, but I won't get that until after on stage. So about mid April to the third week of April, I will have a better idea of what we'll be carrying over and what won't. I do know they do have enough of those, so maybe they will carry over. Hi, Bambi. Thank you for coming. Okay, so there's the inside of the card. And now we're going to stamp these other wheat things. Wheat things. And those are, did I already get them out? No, here it is. <laughs> I'll get that out and put the flower away. Goodbye, flower. You've done your deed. I'm going to stamp four of these, but I'm going to stamp two on white and two on mango. Here's the mango, so we'll do those first. And we're going to do tone on tone with the mango. We're using the Painted Seasons Bundle, primarily, Bambi. Um, the bundle is a stamp set and designer series paper. And then there are, which looks like, here's what the stamp set is. So it's got pine cones and these things, which are nice for fall. And I actually use them as greenery for like pine greens for winter. And then a cacti, not a cacti, a succulent and a flower, which we used the flower earlier. And leafy things. And these actually sort of look like snowflakes or something up there. But I used them for flower centers, which I forgot to do when I did my flowers. Anyway, um, and then these other little leaves. So, and but there is a matching set of dyes. The Painted Seasons bundle is only... You can only get with a hundred dollar purchase too. The bundle is this plus all this 12 by 12 paper pack, which I showed earlier. Lots of pretty papers in it. And we've been using it. I'll show you all the cards that once I get this one done. Um, and then the framelit you can buy. Now I need to find a piece of whisper white. I have a little one. I don't think I can fit two leaves on here though. Let's see. Let's see. Maybe. Ooh, maybe. Let's do them in the same direction. Yay! Perfect. I use my scraps. Thank you, Bambi. I do too. Okay, guys. I have to turn away and cut these out. So I will be right back. Talk amongst yourselves again. <laughs> and I just lost the framelits that I just had in my hand. Seriously? Oh, here they are.
crank, crank, crank. And ta-da! Two more to go. The nice thing is two. there's two of these framelits. So I can cut two at a time. Oops. Yeah, I might need to use a um, sticky note on these. Smaller piece of paper and it doesn't want to stay put. This might be where a scan and cut would be good, huh? <laughs> Which I don't have. Although I'm not sure. I heard somebody say you had to have clean lines around, and I don't think that these do. They have sort of jaggedy edge, so I'm going to rely on you guys to tell me, would those work in a scan and cut? I don't know. I don't know. Hi, Carol. Oh, really? <laughs> oh, yeah. I almost bought a house with orange counter to a whole orange kitchen. Um, when my son's father and I were married quite a while at the time. But anyway, we were looking at a new home closer to our works. And... Um, but it was in a more expensive area and we opted not to do it. I'm kind of glad we did that. But anyway. Okay. So now we're almost done, guys. I just have to glue dot these down. And I kind of went the opposite way. Do you see I have ink? chalk that up it's a new nail polish it's called ink stripe <laughs> not it's all right i lost my glue dot so i'll get another one i had to get another roll out i don't like these as well You have a scan and cut, and the edges have to be, oh. I think these dies will fit in a cuddle. I don't have a cuddle bug, but um, I have a big tick. But each of these individually would fit in a cuddle bug, I'm sure. These aren't too big. But I cut them out on a big kick, and I did two at a time. So I don't know if you can do that in a cuddle bug or not, because I'm not sure of the size of a cuddle bug. Exactly. But those dies will definitely individually work, I'm sure, in a cuddle bug. You know, it's not like some of them are like half a page size dies. Uh, there are some um, sets that probably wouldn't work, but these I think would. Okay, so what, what we're doing is we're going to bump this up on dimensionals after I get these stuck down here. And here we're doing this one here first. And keep in mind, guys, I haven't been doing this for 20 years like some people. I've been doing this for about a year. Well, actually stamping up only since July of last year. Anyway... I think I'm doing okay. Might take me longer though. Nix. Oh, Nix. Okay. Hi, Nix. I think you were here before, right? Oh, that was Bambi coming in. Right. Okay. Never mind. Okay. So I'm just popping this up on dimensionals, but I do have to be careful how I line this up. 
because it'll sort of look like exactly where the paper was cut, you know, is going back in. We have a mushroom to help us line up this time. Look at that. And on the top, we have those leaves right there. I think I got it. Now let me get a little bow. You can use any embellishment you have because these are not available anymore. They're just leftovers I have and I'm trying to use them up. And they're the only thing I had that was, um, I might change the placement a little bit. I think I'm going to put the bow over here and some of the dots up top. The only ones that were poppy parade to match the background paper. All right, I need the other end. And mm, yeah, one over there. There's our card. All done. So let me bring them back in and show you the last one that we didn't do. But there we go. And it just has some dimension. I don't know if you can see there, it's bumped up a little bit. Thank you, Donna. Oh, cool. Thank you, Carol, for helping answer that. Here's the one we didn't do. And let me just take stuff out of here so you can see. It's pretty easy. This is the back of this paper. Um, this is from the um, floral frames. It's this right here. This is in the annual catalog. Um, the bundle, it comes with the um, foliage frame framelits, which cuts this out and also a, a wreath kind of thing like this low inventory so if you're interested in that um that's another one um but this stamped and i used granny apple green blends light and dark for the leaves and i did use the poppy parade stamp and blend for the little dots and the rest of it is just stamped in memento tuxedo black and then on the inside is just a leftover strip of the same paper so that's all I did on that one. It was pretty easy. So while I have the pieces here to do another one, I'll do that off camera. And let me bring in all the other ones. This is the first one we did together. I only have one because that was kind of on the, on the fly. Thank you, Carol. This is the second one we did together. Um, pretty much the same, except that this is the one I did ahead of time. And it had three strips of DSP. And this one I had smaller pieces. Oops, I didn't do the inside of that one yet. Uh, smaller pieces. So we have two rectangles, a long strip, and then these two little sort of squares down here. Ran this through the subtle embossing folder. These are stitched rectangle dies, which are available in the Occasions catalog. Stamped out our beautiful, distinctive Painted Season stamp flowers in Poppy Parade and Grapefruit Grove. Cut out some Call Me Clover leaves and put some sequins on. And there you have it. And then these two were next. This is the first one I did. It's lacking in bling. I have to add bling to that. Here's the one we did together. I didn't have enough for a circle, so we used a rectangle strip. This is the story label punch story. Yes, story label punch that's in... Um, the celebration coordination so that's available for purchase and this is the same piece of paper cut in half and then just flipped over this is the reverse of this and this is the color call me clover sort of a geometric with the floral and then the one we just did so we did one two three four together plus i have one that i did ahead of time that i'll do the second one when we're done here so thank you so much. If you're interested in any of these products, there's a link to my web store um, down below. 
and there is a host code there for any orders over or under 150. However, um, you can use that, but I would appreciate it if you help Kathleen Merkovich Robinson out, who's having a party, and use her host code, which is 92Z, like zebra, E like elephant, G like George, 3AX. I will try to remember to put that below the video once it uploads, and um, that'll probably go on through next next Monday or Tuesday, something like that. Um, Lisa, you had that problem once before, hon. I think it's we, um, you might have to call Stampin' Up tomorrow. Remember, you had that issue before, um, so you may have to call them to place that order. But I appreciate you doing that. Yeah, it's because, I don't want to say it on air, but um, <laughs> you can email me if you want, designs 57 at gmail.com. That's below the the uh, videos, all my videos, too, somewhere, designs 57 at gmail.com. But I know you had that problem the last time, and I think you had to call Stampin' Up! to resolve that. That's 1-800-STAMPUP. I believe one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Um, so one eight hundred S T A M P U P customer service tomorrow, and they'd be, I'm sure they'd be glad to help you because they did. I think they did last time. It's because of the way something's set up uh, on your account, and I can't change it. They have to do that for you. So, but I do appreciate that. Um. So yeah, and I'll send out. Um, I did send out. To people that ordered, I send out your thank yous and packages um, for the regular orders. I sent them out, oh gosh, I don't know if it was Saturday or just Monday or what's today, Tuesday? No, it was last week. It was last week sometime. <laughs> so anyway, but it might have been towards the end of the week. So I do apologize, but they're out and I'll try and at least get some thank yous and things out for the paper pumpkin. Oh, good. Thank you, Paige. I'm glad you got it. I hope I remembered everything I was supposed to put in there. Um, and I guess that's all for now. Um, tomorrow, there's the Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator Hop. Three of us do a monthly card hop. Uh, Misty, Joanne, and I. So be sure to tune in at 9 a.m. Eastern Time for that. Okay. Pet your doggies for me. Oh, Paige, you don't have to do that. Thank you. You've got enough going on, too. And um, Friday, don't forget to tune in also at 9 a.m. for a two-hour live with me. And I'll probably be doing, um, I think I'm going to do a themed card, pocket letter, and bead, boho bead, or bead dangle, or something. Because I have to do another pocket letter, and I think I'm going to... Work on that on the live. Okay, Bambi, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Also, I'm going to get going, too, because I'm tired. <laughs> Been a long day and week, but um, I might even wait and clean up this mess in the morning. So I will be around all day tomorrow. Yay. Have an excellent, fun week, everyone, and I hope to see you again soon. And thank you all for um, participating in my live. And... Um, Stay healthy and hugs, love, and peace to you all. Okay? I truly mean that also, by the way. I'm not just saying that. <laughs> I come from a huggy family, and I just want to send out love and peace to everyone. Okay.